Hi, this is Shayla, and this is the Heart of God for the Nations Daily Scripture for May 14th, 2024, and it's entitled, An Inheritance. We're going to start off in Numbers 18, 20 through 32. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall you have any portion among them. For I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. Behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tithes in Israel as an inheritance in return for the work which they perform, the work of the tabernacle of meeting. Hereafter, the children of Israel shall not come near the tabernacle of meeting, um, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall perform the work in the tabernacle of meeting, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance. For the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer up as a heave offering to the Lord, I have given to the Levites as an inheritance. Therefore I have said to them, Among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak thus to the Levites, and say to them, when you take from the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them as your inheritance, then you shall offer up a, a heave offering of it to the Lord, a tenth of the tithe. And your heave offering shall be reckoned to you as though it were the grain of the threshing floor and as the fullness of the winepress. Thus, thus you shall also offer a heave offering to the Lord from all your tithes, which you receive from the children of Israel. And you shall give the Lord's heave offering from it to Aaron the priest. Of all the gifts, you shall offer up every heave offering due to the Lord from all the best of them, the consecrated part of them. Therefore, you shall say to them, when you have lifted up the best of it, then the rest shall be accounted to the Levites as the produce of the threshing floor and as the produce of the wine press, you may eat it in any place, you and your households, for it is your reward for your work in the tabernacle of meeting. And you shall bear no sin because of it, when you have lifted up the best of it. But you shall not profane the holy gifts of the children of Israel, lest you die. And this is the prayer for the day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our inheritance. When we have you, what more could we want? When we know our salvation is secure in you, Jesus, why do we care so much about the little things on earth? When we give them up to you as an offering, it pleases you. You, Lord, completely satisfy our souls. That's something the world can never do. Thank you for adopting us as your children. Thank you for calling us to be your servants and friends. When we serve you, you provide all our needs. When we choose to forgo the temporary things of this life and complete your plan instead of our own, we store up heavenly treasures. When we work in your fields, you give us our hire. The shiny, fun, cool stuff in this life may tempt us or draw us. So please help us to remember that you have something far more valuable and much more enjoyable in store. Help us to strive for those eternal treasures. It is going to be worth it. Holy Spirit, please be with us and help us walk in the Spirit. Help us to have a heavenly mindset. We desire a closer relationship with you, Lord, a heart that is fixed on you. Help us, Jesus, please help us, Jesus, to remember that our inheritance is you. These are the supporting scriptures. Hebrews 11, 24 through 26. By faith, Moses, when he was come, of year, come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Isaiah 44, verse 3. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty, 
and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your offspring. Malachi 3.10 Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouses, into the storehouse, excuse me, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Psalms 57 verse 7 My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Psalms 58 verse 11 So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges in the earth. Matthew 20 verse 8 so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And finally, Matthew 6, verses 19 through 21. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Thank you all for listening. I hope you have a blessed day.